just gone nine o'clock in the morning. I didn't get a good night's sleep last night. It's always like that, the first night somewhere new. I'm at Central train station. A couple of minutes and the train should be here to take me up to Batu Caves this morning. I got up nice and early because I just thought, you know what, there's no way I want to be climbing up those stairs in the heat of the midday sun. So I've got my hat, I'm prepared. I've got a frozen bottle of water. <laughs> so hopefully by the time I get up there, it will be nice and defrosted and cold. I've been waiting since November basically to come here because on my layover when I landed, um, I only had 13 and a half hours. So it wasn't really long enough to be able to come all the way out here. So I just did the Patronus Towers which is in central Kuala Lumpur. I've just arrived at Batu Caves and I didn't have any cash. So on the Grab app, you can put money on it. So I got my ticket. It was 10 ringgit to get in. Again, I'm at one of those places that I could only ever dream of. I am so lucky. some steep stairs to get back down. They didn't seem that bad coming up, but wow. And right up there, that's where I've just climbed. Oh, look at that. Really? That is just on a different scale to everything else. Can I even really believe that I'm here? <laughs> no, not really. I need to get my climbing boots on now and try and get right up to the top. I'm over halfway now. The views are great from here, but I've still got a little way left to go. Almost there. This is truly amazing. These caves are immense. They are just huge. <laughs> I don't believe it. I think that cockerel's followed me all the way from Bali. So I've just got to the top. Gosh. That is just gorgeous. So glad I've done it this time and not the first time I came to Malaysia. It's just stunning. The views from up here are spectacular. Little monkeys up there. And from here, just in the distance there, you can see the Petronas Towers. Just there. Just stopped for a little drink of lemon in this restaurant. And I said to them afterwards, this is the nicest lemon drink I've had in ages. And she says, come here, I'll give you a little bit extra. How sweet. Everybody is just so kind and friendly. It's something special that.
I've seen this so many times on the telly and on other people's vlogs. It just doesn't feel real to me. It doesn't feel like I'm actually here. I keep standing and looking and seeing myself next to this temple thinking, yeah, I'm really here. It's something that I've dreamed of for so long and now I'm actually here. It really doesn't seem real. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is very impressive. So behind me, that's the entrance where I came in. And just down there, that's where you pay the 10 ringgit to get in. And then if I spin round, down there is down to the actual stairs and the main temple. And to go up the multicolored stairs, right up into the temple at the top, there is no charge. Whereas the little one there by the green statue, that one you've got to pay 10 ringgit to get in and it's preferable to pay by cash. But I would say, if you're gonna come, come down first thing in the morning because right now it's about 12 o'clock and it is so hot. I'm glad that I've already done those stairs because walking up there in this heat would just be unbearable. just caught the train and instead of getting off at where my hostel is I've carried on to Kuala Lumpur not KL to Kuala Lumpur which is Chinatown um, my sim cards that I bought two days ago stopped working so I need to go and sort that out because now I have no maps or anything so I'm looking for some shops again with no sat nav <laughs> story of my life and I haven't eaten yet today and it's now two o'clock in the afternoon. I must get my act together. Oh my goodness, and there, like a vision, WH sniffs. Oh, I just want something that's not rice and not curry. Let's go. Gosh, I'm so tired. I've stopped for an egg sandwich. Oh, I just need to go back. I'm hot and I'm sweaty and I need a shower. It's been a very long day. I'm back. Well, almost back. I'm just waiting for my grab to take me back to my hotel. Because although it's not very far, you can't actually walk it because there's nowhere to cross the dual carriageway. <laughs> so I've got to pay 16 ringgit, which is about, I'll put it up here, um, to get back. And it literally is just over there where I'm staying. 